ஸ்கிரீன் சீன் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் தயாரிப்பில் வி செட் துரை இயக்கத்தில் சுந்தர் சி நடிக்கும் இருட்டு அக்டோபர் பதினொன்னு முதல் உலகம் எங்கும் is both a mini india and the spirit of new india there is energy vibrancy and positivity i can see the dreams of the future in your eyes i could see the destiny of india in your eyes friends i want to congratulate the parents of those graduating imagine their pride and joy they have struggled they have sacrificed to bring you to this juncture in your lives they have given you your wings so that you can take flight this pride is also reflect in the eyes of your teachers they have created through their untiring efforts not just good engineers but also good citizens i also want to highlight the role of the support staff the silent behind the scenes people who prepared your food keep the classes clean keep the hostels clean in your success they too have a role to play before moving on i urge my student friends to join me to applaud your teacher parents and support staff with standing ovation thank you friends this is a remarkable institution i am told that here the mountains move and the rivers are stationary we are in the state of tamil nadu which has a special distinction it is home to the oldest language in the world tamil one of the newest languages in india the iit madras lingo there is a lot that you will miss you will surely missing sarang and sastra
you will miss your wing mates and there are something you will not miss most notably you can now buy top quality footwear without any fear <laughs> friends you are indeed fortunate you are passing out such a fantastic institute at a time when the world is looking at india as a land of unique opportunities i've just written from america during this visit i met many heads of state business leaders innovators investors in our discussions there was one thread common it was optimism about new india and confidence in the abilities of the young people of india friends the indian community had made a mark for itself all over the world especially in science technology and innovation who is powering this lot of them are your iit seniors then you are making brand india stronger globally this day i interact with young officers clearing up the upsc exam the number of iit graduates will surprise both you and me <laughs> thus you are also making india a more developed place and go to the corporate world and you will see many many who studied in iit thus you are also making india more prosperous friends i see the foundations of the 21st century resting on three crucial pillars of innovation teamwork and technology each of these complement each other friends i just came from the singapore india hackathon the innovators from india and singapore were working together they were finding solutions to common challenges all of them devoted their energy towards one direction these innovators came from different backgrounds their experiences were different but all of that merged towards creating solution that help not only those in india and singapore but also to the world this is the power of innovation team work and technology it benefits not a select few but everyone today as india is inspiring to become a 5 trillion dollar economy 
your innovation, aspiration, and application of technology will fuel this dream. It become it become the bedrock of India's big leap into the most competitive economy. Friends, IIT Madras is a prime example of how a decade-old institution can transform itself to meet the needs and aspirations of the 21st century. A little while ago, I visited the research park established on campus. This is the first such effort in the country. I saw an extremely vibrant startup ecosystem today. I was told that so far about 200 startups have been incubated here. It was good fortune to see some of them. I saw efforts in electric mobility, Internet of Things, healthcare, artificial intelligence, and more. All these startups should create unique Indian brands which will make their place in the world market in future. Friends, India's innovation is a great blend of economics and utility. IIT Madras is born in that tradition. Here the students and researchers take up the toughest problems and come up with a solution that is accessible and workable for all. I am told students here intern with startups, write codes from their rooms. And that too without food or sleep. Except for the hungry and no sleep part, I hope that spirit of innovating and pursuing excellence continue in the time to come. <laughs> Friends, we have worked to create a robust ecosystem for research and development in our country. Friends, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robotics, state-of-the-art technologies are now all being introduced to students much earlier. We are working to create utter tinkering labs all over the country. Once the students come to an institution like yours and want to work on innovations, there are utter incubation centers being created in many institutions. The next challenge is to find a market to develop a startup. The Startup India program is designed to help you meet these challenges. This program will support innovations to find their way to the market. In addition, in order to promote research and development in the country, we have created the Prime Minister's Research Fellow Scheme. Friends, it is the result of these efforts that India is today one of the top three startup friendly ecosystems. You know what is the best part of India's strike in the startups? That these rights is powered by people from Tier 2, Tier 3 cities, and even rural India. In the world of startups, the language you speak 
matter far less than the language you can code in the power of your surname does not matter you have the opportunity to create your own name what matters is your merit friends do you remember when you first began prepare for the iit remember how tough things looked but your hard work made the impossible into possible there are many opportunities awaiting you not all of them easy but what today looks impossible is only waiting for your first step to seem within reach do not be bogged down break things down in steps as you move from one step to another you will see the problem getting solved in front of you bit by bit the beauty of human endeavor lies in possibilities so never stop dreaming and keep challenging yourself that way you will keep evolving and becoming a better version of oneself friends i know that there are great attractive opportunities waiting for you when you step out of this institution make use of them i have however request to make you all of you no matter where you work no matter where you live do also keep in the mind the needs of your motherland your mother india think of how your work innovation and your research could help a fellow indian not only it is your social responsibility it also makes immense business sense can you find most cost effective and innovative ways to recycle water used in our homes offices industries so that our fresh water extraction and use is reduced today as a society we want to move beyond single use plastics what can be an environment friendly replacement that offers similar use but not similar disadvantages this is when we look towards our young innovators like you take health care many of the diseases that affect a large section of the population in the near future will not be the traditional contagious disease it will be lifestyle disease such as hypertension type 2 diabetes obesity stress with the field of data science maturing and with the presence of data around the disease technologies can find a way to find patterns in them when technology comes together with data science diagnostics behavioral science and medicine interesting insight can emerge are there things that can be done to reverse their spread are there patterns that we need to be very very of can technology answer these questions will iit students take up this up i speak about fitness and healthcare because high achievers like you may run a risk of negligent neglecting your own health because you are so immersed in work i urge you to be active participants in the fit india movement both by focusing on personal fitness and by 
furthering innovation in healthcare. Friends, we have seen that there are two types of people. Those who live and those who merely exist. It is for you to decide do you want to exist or do you want to live life to the fullest? Consider a bottle of a medicine well past its expiry date. Perhaps even a year past its expiry date. The bottle exists. Perhaps the packaging also looks attractive. The medicine inside also still exists. But what is its use? Can life be like this? Life should be lively and purposeful. And the best recipe, the best recipe for living a full life, to know, to learn, to understand, and to live for others. As Swami Vivekananda rightly said, they alone live who live for others. Friends, your convocation ceremony indicates the conclusion of your current course of study. But it is not the end of your education. Education and learning is a continuous process. We live, we learn. I wish you all again a bright future dedicated to the good of humanity. Thank you. Thank you very much. And all the best.